Okay, so what we have here is the wild mustard plant. The nice thing about mustards is once you know how to identify them, all mustard family plants are edible, the entire thing. Uh, in some of the plants though, the root may not be desirable. Uh, a couple of the key things about mustard plants. The first is they're called cruciferous vegetables because the flowers come in a cross shape. So there's always going to be four petals. They're typically yellow. However, they also come in white and purple, uh, for example. The next thing about them is the flowers grow on what are called racemes, which are specialized stalks that don't branch themselves and they contain no leaves. So if you look closely, you can see that each flower is on its own stem coming off of the main stem. The plant itself doesn't branch very much, uh, as well as the seeds, when the, uh, they go to seed, here's an example of it, uh, the seeds themselves are on each individual raceme. Other thing, when you look at the flower itself, you'll have four petals and four sepals, which those aren't entirely important, but when you open up the plant, or the flower, you can look at the stamen. And I don't think you'll be able to see it, but on the inside next to the pistil will be four long stamen and two short stamen. That is very important. Uh, if you have all of those together, the yellow, white, and sometimes purple flowers on racemes with four long stamen and two short stamen, then you're fairly confident that you have a mustard family plant. However, you should still do an edibility test if you're not entirely sure. Uh, mustards are historically eaten by most humans. As a matter of fact, half the stuff you find at the grocery store are mustard family plants, including broccoli, radishes, turnips, uh, cabbage, cauliflower, etc. Those actually all came from only one or two different species of mustard. So with that, uh, don't be too worried about the leaves. The leaves come in all shapes and sizes and patterns as well as the seeds. These seeds are little ball shapes. There are other examples such as peppergrass or shepherd's purse where they're more flat kind of heart shaped seeds. And then I believe some radishes have almost bean pod shaped seeds.